All right, chip of the day. There he is right there. He's tiny. He's tiny. What is he? <laughs> uh, I was at the store and they had their dollar grab bag section and uh, I got some of these. Uh, how much did I get? I think I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got a dozen, a dozen of them, I guess. Uh, a dozen for a dollar. That's pretty good. It is an FCX 7908AT. Never heard of such a thing. It says on here, NPN high gain. All right. So let's look up a uh, data sheet. And uh, it is a PNP high gain. <laughs> um, yeah. So... It's uh, these little funny packages. This is a, uh, what kind of package is this? I don't, remember, I don't remember what these are called. Oh, there we go. SOT89. Yeah, it's kind of strange. It's kind of like an SO3, but it's got like a big tab at the end for heat. If you flip it over, you can see that there's a, it's kind of a, a large tab on it. It does connect to the center pin though. So the, that's the collector. So, uh, yeah, collector on this side and collector on this side. But if you're going to use them, you've got to solder it down to the tab, okay, because you need some heat sinking. Now, um, it says it's 2 watt power dissipation. So you think, wow, how do I get 2 watts out of such a little thing, right? Well, you got to really read data sheet. This is going to be a really, really good video about reading the data sheet carefully, okay? Let's take a look at the ratings. It's a 40 volt part. Uh, it can do um, two amps or six amps. Six amps is pulsed, but if you read the data sheet, it says it's less than 2% duty cycle. So that's down here. So you see this little asterisk, asterisk. You have to go down here and say, measures under pulse conditions, pulse width 300 microseconds, and the duty cycle is less than 2%, okay? But continuous DC, it's good for two amps. Now, is it really good for two amps? Well, um, Power dissipation, one watt and two watts with, with a, that symbol and a that symbol. What does that mean? Well, basically it says you've got to, when you, when you make a PC board, you've got to have a big slab of copper attached to, the, to that tab. And this piece of copper on your PC board will do the one watt, okay? And that's how big the... Um, it has to be 15 millimeters by 15 millimeters. That's here. And if you want two watts, you have to have that much copper on your PC board. That's about the whole size of your PC board. So yeah, it might do two watts, but you need this huge, huge PC board heat sink. Just it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna go. So you, you got to be kind of careful with these data sheets. Okay. Um, we will be testing one, and I've basically put it on a version of this, and I'll show you that later. Okay, what else can we learn Learn from the data sheet? 40 volt, that's a collector to emitter. Uh, okay, collector saturation. Uh, so how hard does it turn on? Uh, well, at one amp, it's 350 millivolts, and at two amps, it's 450 millivolts. And then at low, like half an amp, it's at a quarter of a volt. All right, that's not bad. Pretty good. Now, this is where it shines. It shines in the HFE. This is also beta. Um, so it, it's got some, somewhere between 300 and 800 beta, which is a very high gain for a, a, just a regular transistor. Um, at one amp, it's, it's above 200. And at two amps, it's above 150. So um, we're going to be using it today up to an amp. And so, uh, yeah, it should have a gain greater than 200 and no more than 800. So they don't really give typicals, unfortunately. This is another funny one. It says it's 100 megahertz, but that's some kind of transition frequency. And if you look at the test conditions, it's at 50 megahertz. So uh, rise time, I don't know what that means. Um, so that's a funny data sheet thing. Uh, then there's a cool, bunch of cool graphs, but we're going to make our own graphs because I have a curve tracer. So let's hook one up. Okay, so first of all, this is going to be my test part, okay? I've uh, put it on a little uh, adapter board so I can put down the uh, SOT. 
and then I've soldered on a piece of copper, and this is thicker copper than, this is like a copper sheet, so this is thicker copper than a PC board would have, so I'm claiming that's about the surface area and, and thickness of copper that would be the one watt. And uh, what's that green blob there? Well, that's some uh, solder mask epoxy, and I've uh, glued down a thermistor so we can measure the, uh, we can monitor the uh, temp temperature of the, uh, of the heat sink. Okay, let's, uh, let's uh, change camera a bit here. All right, uh, so here we have the part in. Uh, we are one volt per division horizontally and we're at 10 milliamps vertically. So uh, 10, 20, 30, 30 milliamps, okay? Um, and um, I have it set up so that at full scale we're 10 volts and full scale we're at 100 milliamps and 10 volts at 100 milliamps is one watt. Very good. All right, so we can turn this up. Now we're at 10 volts and uh, we have uh, a s series of steps on our analyzer here and we can change those, okay? And what we want, we want to have that top one right at the very, very top, okay? So on the um, generator, I can go to uh, a fine tune mode and I can move it up and down so I can, I can uh, put an offset on these things, okay? So there we go. I can move it up so that we are just, we are just reaching the one amp, okay? I mean, this is 100 milliamps, sorry, one, one watt. 100 milliamps at 10 volts were one watt at that, at that upper, at that little upper, upper thing there. And um, so the part does what it's supposed to do. Let me, uh, Can I get this all on camera? Oh, I can. There we go. So we're at 51 degrees. This is centigrade, uh, Celsius, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so it is getting toasty. Now, uh, we do have some thermal drift so that our beta is going up a little bit as we heat up. We have to worry, we have to worry about that. Now, this thing is tracing back and forth, so it's not at that upper range for very long, okay? Um, and we really would like it up there a long time. So uh, I've got to move the, this to get the, we can, we can collapse these uh, ranges and we can sort of take that up there. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to change one, one setting here. There we go. Bring that back down. There we go. So I can kind of group it up to the top. Okay. And then I can go to DC and I can kind of, just kind of splatter everybody right up there. So that's, that's a pretty good test, all right? And uh, you can see that our temperature is going up, 72. Yeah. Leave that for there for a while, We're kind of going off screen, there we go. 81. Now, uh, in the data sheet, it says do not exceed some temperature. So we should read that. Data sheet says 150C is the operating temperature range. The so max operating temperature range is 150C. All right. So I would say in 120, I wouldn't want to go above 120, something like that. And uh, you can see, yeah, we're doing pretty good here. All right. So I think it does the one watt pretty good. You can see if I go back to the uh, to the traces here, the the temperature will probably fall now because we're not yeah temperature's coming down because we're not staying at that one amp constantly. All right, so that's kind of fun. Let's see if we can't take it up to two amps and see what happens. Okay, so I need this out of the way here. Okay, let's change our scale so that two, okay, so two amp, uh, 200 milliamps will be at the top and at 10 volts, that's two watts. All right, so we can change our, there we go. And uh, 
Let's see what the temperature is doing here. It should start getting toasty. We're still sweeping back and forth, so we're not staying up there constantly, but I just want to see how bad it's going to get before we do anything else. 100, yes, yeah, so it's going to, it's going to start getting toasty up there. And if we go to DC, I bet you this will really start to run away. Yeah, 120, so I wouldn't want to go above 120, okay? So we're going to take it down. We're going to take it down. All right, well, there you go. I think it's a nice part. We haven't mentioned the HFE, so uh, this is beta here, so we can read directly off. This is 500, um, a beta of 500 per step, so it's running at about 700, a beta of 700. So it has a lot of, uh, has a lot of beta there. Let's see, let's, uh, yeah, we can get, yeah, 100. Uh, let's see, 200. So two, four, six. Okay, so it's about 650, a beta of 650. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, there you go. Uh, chip of the day was in a little strange little, uh, trans strange little transistor, an FCX 790A. Uh, October 2005, so I don't know if you can get these still or not.